I'm armed and dangerous. Okay, so I've got a 15 litre pot here. It is about 30 centimetres across the top, which is about 12 inches, and it is 26 centimetres deep, which is just over 10 inches. Now, the reason that I like a 15 litre container is because you can get a nice display in it. You don't want just one or two corms because that can look a bit naff, can't it? So 15 litre container will take three of our ranunculus corms and it will take about five of our anemone corms. Now, it's not the law though, you don't have to. As I said, you can just squeeze in up to five ranunculus in that pot, no problem at all. They will just be smaller. I did leave a ranunculus in a nine centimetre pot when I first started and it flowered beautifully, but it was tiny. <laughs> Now the other thing to consider, the other reason I like the 15 litre container is because it's deeper and that will hold more compost, which means it will hold more water, so it won't dry out as quickly, and it will also have a lower soil temperature. If the pots are too small, they'll heat up too quickly, and we know what happens is when they heat up, the, the soil temperature will rise, and when it's consistently warm, so it tends to be not too bad if it's just a brief heat wave, but when it's consistently warm, that signals to the plant that summer's here, it's a spring flower, so it will start to switch its energy into corn production. The leaves tend to go yellow, that's a signal, and they will start to shut down and the blooming will be finished. So the cooler you can keep the soil temperature, the better. These pots are also light and easy to move. So if we get a rain shower, you can move them out of the rain. If we get a heat wave, you can move them to the shade. Uh, terracotta pots are beautiful, but they tend to be porous and they dry out for a pastime which is the anemone, anemone, the enemy. <laughs> I'm going to leave that in. The enemy of the ranunculus in particular, the blooms will fail if they're allowed to dry out. This is the ranunculus. And again, I'll use the images in the shop so you can buy with your eyes. The image was actually taken on the 30th of May, which means they were the spring started corn. So we do two sowings. So if you're just joining us, don't worry. You haven't missed out completely. We've done our early sowing of corns, which we've been overwintering, and we're planting out now for early flowers. And then there'll be another chance to grow along in February for blooms a little bit later. And I can let you know now, there will be a few corns available in the January seed shop. So, so exciting. So. You haven't missed out. If you want to join in, there's going to be another chance. But in the meantime, let's crack on with planting up these autumn started corns now. I'm going to scooch down a bit so hopefully you can see me and the compost. So this is a 15 litre pot and you can see I filled it. It's just with multi-purpose compost. Now, I thought we'd do anemones because we did ranunculus to death and that's available on my highlights. So if you want a long-winded uh, ranunculus planting, that's where you need to go. For anemones, the spacing is closer. So it's 15 centimetres if you plant them in the ground. That's a rule of thumb. For these pots, I did some trials last year and I found that I got a good display, so i.e. the pot looked nice, and then I got good results from the size of the flowers if I put five anemones in a 15 litre container or four anemones in a 10 litre container. Now, just remember, when they're in pots, basically the roots wrap around and they make themselves into a self-contained unit. So potting on is fine, but once they go into a container like this, their roots will start to escape. Don't rip them. There's no need to rip the roots on these plants, um, but they start to escape into the compost. So if you try and move them then, what can happen is you'll end up ripping them out of their anchoring. The moment self-contained, if they're all loose, you'll rip them out, rip out their ability to take up water and the foliage can collapse. So don't move them once they've been planted in their final positions, obviously, unless it's just the next day. Some people have been asking if you can move them if they're in the garden. If they're looking like this, you've literally got to excavate all the available soil that's around the plant so that you don't rip the roots away from their anchorings, because if you do, all the foliage will collapse. So I'm just putting the final one in now. I've got four around the outside and one in the middle and then I'm just going to top it up with some multi-purpose compost. Now I haven't put 
any grit in. You can if you want to, and if you're in a particular wet part of the world, um, that's probably a sensible precaution. But generally speaking, multi-purpose compost is quite free draining enough. And as I say, anemones are ranunculus don't want to dry out once we get to spring. I'm gonna give them a water, but only a very light water. The air, the atmosphere is extremely damp still. So I'm just gonna give them the barest little watering and then keep an eye on them and water them only when necessary. So I think you get the idea. I just wanted to finish off by showing you the ranunculus. Now these ranunculus are in a 15 cell tray and you can see the size of the root ball. They look quite small at the moment, don't they? But just bear in mind, they are gonna grow. These ranunculus were started just about two weeks before. And because of the light, the light levels are what's slowing the growth down. So if they look like they're sitting around and not doing very much, it's because of the low light levels and because of the cold. When you have more light, you get more growth. So these were started a little bit sooner, back in the autumn, and these ones were started sooner again. So when we start our corms in February, they're going to grow a lot faster than these ones, and they will bloom just after these. These will give us the biggest flowers because they've had the slowest growth. They've had a chance to put on lots of foliage which will result in bigger blooms. But the spring started ones will grow faster and they're less of a faff because you've got less of the winter left to deal with before you can plant them outside in your garden. They probably will still need some frost protection, some frost cloth to protect us from the late frost. And again, the pots are fantastic because you can just move them indoors, even if it's just for a few hours overnight. It tends to warm up really quickly in the spring. So it tends to be very short and sharp, those frosts. Oh my goodness, look how well the anemone and ranunculus pots have settled in. They look so happy with their extra space, don't they? My goodness me, isn't it mild? Now these are the anemones. I know, they're even further ahead. I said they would be, didn't I? They're even further ahead than the ranunculus. So they take longer to get going once they get going they flower soon and you can see I've got flower buds coming up so it's important at this point that you don't let them dry out but don't overwater them their foliage is affected by too much or too little water so it looks like they're drowning if they've been overwatered but if you've watered them right their foliage should look like parsley look at that absolutely brilliant see the sunlight pouring into my greenhouse so your plants do need to be in the bright light so they can grow they need to photosynthesize they need to turn this light into energy so they can create all this beautiful growth and then we can get lots of flowers so here's our beautiful anemone just bobbing around in the breeze Ooh. You can see that it is a little bit breezy at times, so we're going to need to make sure we pop that somewhere sheltered. Look at the stem on that. And then here's our ranunculus. No flowers yet from the ranunculus, it won't be long, but remember I said the anemones do take longer to come up, but then they flower sooner. I'm trying to take a picture of my pot, and they're not all pointing in the right direction. <laughs> I don't think it matters though. Look at that. A little bit of spring cheerfulness for you. So this is my ranunculus pot. It's the middle of April and I've only got three corns in this 15 litre container. Absolutely beautiful. It's bringing me so much joy and I can move it wherever I want to around the garden. I'm just trying to capture their best side. These are our anemones. These are blue and white. And I like to use just plain black pots because 
I want to let the flowers do the talking. Aren't they just beautiful? With that sunlight in the background, they almost look like they're not there. Good Lord. What a lovely evening. I've got my camera. Might possibly have a glass of wine on the go. I'm just taking some pictures of this pot. This is the ranunculus. And again, I'll use the images in the shop so you can buy with your eyes.